That's a nice little trade setup. Okay, so we know, let's go back over it. Let's go with Gerald. We know the best trade is the first cross, first arrow, right? So here's our cross. Get these out of the way. The best setup is going to be in the room on any market is when you get a cross of the shorter term MA to longer term MA and the first retracement. That first retracement should be right around a 62% retracement on the first retracement. You can swing high, swing low. You can see it's right to the tick a 62% retracement. So those arrows are really accurate on the first retracement. They're typically right at 62% retracement. So that's our that's our, our, our highest probability setup. If we get a cross, first retracement trade, look for a arrow entry. Okay? Catches the market on a nice little swing. What happens is that additional arrows that fire off, you can do them with if the trend's in a, if the market's in a hard downtrend, that's fine if you want to take them. Or if it's on market profile break retest. What happens if you get arrows that fire against the overall trend? All right, so we know an arrow cross, I just did a video on it, the first arrow retracement with market delta confirmation is a great way to do it. This is a market structure breakdown. It works really well with trend days. If I break, if I get it across, if I'm in an uptrend in the arrow and I get it against the overall trend, arrows against the overall trend, that means I'm in a key market structure area, usually a 62 to 76 percent retracement. If it closes outside of it, especially if it retests that area and you get an arrow, this is a high probability setup. You're going to see a nice high, high, high probability setup right there based upon market structure breakdown. That's a breakout retest. Now what happens on hard trend days sometimes, it won't even retest. And Dave, that's what happened yesterday on crude, right? I mean, Adam. Happened on crude, right, Adam? Is that it closed outside of the, we were in a hard downtrend on crude yesterday. And it closed outside of a green arrow. Oops, sorry. So if it does that, you can wait for a close. Another way you can trade is wait for the market to close a whole body candle outside of it. You can actually go long there with the positive market delta and place your stop two ticks below the swing low on two bars back. One, two. Your stop is right here. So you go long that market also. So you can trade it that way also. If you want to be conservative, wait for a break, retest, and error should fire with market structure with overall trend direction. That's called a market structure breakdown on a retest. Very simple way to do it. Doing those two setups by themselves, you can do the arrow cross, I mean arrow with the first retracement cross because it's usually a 62% retracement. You can do that all by itself and do very well in the room. But if you add market structure also to it, you're going to catch a lot of trades. You're going to catch a lot of trades that are really, really nice little trades because it's breaking through the 62 to 76% retracement. And that's how you catch it. Okay, so remember, let me recap before I shut this off. A few ways to trade the system. And you can just do one or the other or both. The easy way, if the MA crosses down through and you get a first retracement, that's a high probability retracement setup. It's a, usually a 62% retracement on the first cross. That would stop to the exact tick from this swing high. Swing high, swing low, 62% retracement, arrow fired. I'm showing you why the arrows fire after the first cross. Now, here, another way to trade it, if the MAs are in an uptrend and you get arrows against the trend, if it closes outside of those and it retests those, it retests right, it closes outside of it, it looks like a little ABC long, it'll break outside of it, it'll retest it, so it retested it. It can't close below it by a body of the candle. It can break through it, just can't close below it. Then you want to see positive market delta right there, and you can take it long on the first arrow. That's called a market structure breakdown. They're very, very effective. So 
in my PDF I sent out to you guys, all you leasees, I said there's three ways to trade it. First, first MA cross, first arrow. Market structure break like this. Third way is market profile with overall trend direction with the arrow. All right, that's all you need to know. You do that, you should do very, very well.